everyone welcome back okay so this is one of my let's talk trash video so it's my empties I have quite a bit so I'm just going to get started first thing first I used up this I used up this Cebu um, this is the replenishing night cream from Cebu oh my gosh I was like, I like scraped this thing clean because I absolutely am obsessed with this night cream. It's one of my favorites that I've used. Um, I did an entire video on Cebu. They have all natural products. This is the one thing that I will probably always repurchase. It's just a really rich, nice night cream and my face always wakes up feeling very moisturized. So this is definitely going to be a repurchase. Um, and I got this off of a kit um, on Hot Look and it came with four different products so um, really nice uh, good price and I liked this a lot so I definitely will, would repurchase that. Um, another thing that I kind of go through like candy is this Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation. I'm in the color 200 Sand Beige. Um, this is my Holy Grail foundation. I love it out of all foundations. Um, this is probably my favorite one that I've tried. I have been religiously going between this and the Hydroxytone BB Cream and so uh, I already have repurchased this and opened up another thing. If you like to put on your foundation and never touch it up, I highly suggest you buy the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. Okay, so dry shampoo, I this got to be not my favorite. I think I actually, this is the Forever Style Spray, got to be. From, I just got this at the drugstore. <sighs> I can't remember. The smell isn't bad. It's nice. It's a pleasant smell. But the, the sh I don't know. It just like kind of left my hair crunchy. So this wasn't my I favorite. definitely would. I probably won't repurchase this. I like the John Frieda Volume Dry Shampoo in a blue container the most. And the Suave Dry Shampoo. So I probably won't repurchase this. But I did use it all up. And it actually got better when I was using it. In my last favorites video, I said that I had an, a, used up an entire Aveda Shampoo. This is the bottle that I was talking about. Look how big it is. It's like the size of my head. I ended up finding it, <laughs> the missing shampoo bottle. I mean, how could this go missing, you ask? I don't know. Um, anyways, I really, really love this shampoo. It has more of a like I don't know if you've ever smelled Aveda but it has more of a natural smell um, this is one of my favorites I feel like it really gets my hair clean I go in between using it um, I will probably I don't know if you guys know this but you can buy the bigger bottles and I think you can take them into your salon at least you can do this where I live and, you, and they can refill it for you and it's cheaper so I really like doing that and you know and so I'll recycle this basically. Well, I would have recycled it anyways, but I mean, I can still get more shampoo and use it. So this is one of my favorite Aveda shampoos. Definitely an always a repurchase. Cotton rounds from Kroger, nothing special. You guys said you didn't mind if I included them because they were a use up. Um, I didn't dislike them so much. Okay, so my husband, <laughs> he included these in my little empties thing and he told me, he gave me his little reviews. This is the Old Spice Swagger Body Wash for men. I like this smell for him. It's like a very clean, fresh um, smell, but still like very manly. So, uh, the Old Spice Swagger, and I know they have like deodorants and whatnot. So, I definitely, he, this is a repurchase always for him, and I just thought I would include this it. Is also, this is also like men's edition. Um, he uses this Neutrogena Triple Protect face lotion uh, it's the Neutrogena men line and it says it soothes razor irritation heals dry skin helps defend skin against the size of aging it has SPF 20 in it so let me smell this it has a very pleasant smell um, just like kind of kind of like an aftershavey lotiony smell so anyways he said he really liked this and he would definitely this is the Sonia Kashuk um, eye makeup remover I really like this. I really do. Um, I'm trying out the Neutrogena one, and and I guess I can't say that the new that this is much better. I feel like the Neutrogena is a little bit cheaper, and this just see. I think they 
it was like um, half like a creamy or more lotiony formula and then half like the watery and that, that's what I liked about it that it wasn't like half oil half water or whatever the mixture was but it ha seemed to have more of a lotion the first time I bought it but the second time it had the oil and so I heard they were discontinuing the lotion one so I think I'm just going to go with the Neutrogena one, but um, this was a good one. The Sonia Kashuk Eye Makeup Remover was a good one. So Okay, so I have two makeup remover wipes. These are the Neutrogena ones, just the regular and the blue package. I like these, but I like the hydrating, which is in the teal package. Um, but I just had a few more of these to use up. And then I tried the Equate makeup remover wipes and these were a little bit drying so I wouldn't repurchase these Equate ones again from Walmart. Um, they just weren't, they felt more dry and I didn't like them as much. Although they did come with a lot of wipes in them for the price. I just, it doesn't say how many because I peeled the thing off. So they have like a very pleasant smell but I just, I don't know. I like the and the Neutrogena hydrating ones better, and these aren't are not them. But um, I'm always on the search for like a really good makeup wipe. If you guys have any suggestions, I've tried a lot. Like I've tried the Simple, I don't like those. I've tried the Target brand, they're so so. I've tried um, the yeah, Say Yes to Carrots or Cucumbers, those burn my eyes. So if you guys have any that you okay ask. from Lush, it's not here, but I used up several. Um, they're like the Dorothy. It's like a rainbow and a cloud or something. Um, I bought them for my kids. Uh, it was not good because I got them last May and I waited too long to use them up. So it still created bubbles, but it was like a weird color and I don't know. I don't think it, I think that they got old. So my suggestion is if you buy those, do not buy a whole bunch of the bubble bars in bulk and just get the ones that you think you're going to use in the near future because I just waited too long. Okay, so I have this Equate nail polish remover. I don't know what is on the side of it, but this is like the kind from the kind that you like stick your finger in, like the padding. I really, really like this. I definitely will. This is the non acetone one. I definitely will repurchase this. I liked it a lot and I felt like it really did a great job at actually taking off glitter nail polish. And I know that's weird, but like the foam, the friction of sticking your finger in there with the foam really worked for getting off glitter polish. So I definitely will repurchase that. This is like an old faithful. I use it on my hair and my daughter's. I use it on my daughter's hair, all of my kids' hair, really. And it's the Double Dutch Apple Suave Detangling Spray. Oh, those Equate things. Here's a lid, and it was 40 in the pack. So I guess that is a really good count because most just come with 25. Okay, so I found these simple wipes. And, um, yeah, I said I don't, you, I didn't like them. They were too dry for me, and I felt like I was, like, scrubbing or pulling to pull off my makeup. So I will not repurchase these. You know, every video I say I'm going to only buy the Neutrogena Hydrating Wipes, and guess what? I still pull out like three different <laughs> facial wipes so I really do need to just now like just call it quits at finding them because I do like the Neutrogena ones but I keep thinking like oh I'm gonna like another one so such is life. Okay so this is the Aquaphor Baby. <laughs> um, I used this not for my kids I mean I use it on my kids too but I just use this for dry skin but this was the baby version um I don't know you can use it on your lips on your to take off makeup you can pretty much use this for anything it's kind of like Windex and coconut oil like I swear you can use it for everything so um use this up I had it by my bedside because my knuckles get really dry in the way. two different eye creams I have used up I used up the Aveda this is the Aveda Tourmaline charged eye cream I definitely liked this. I thought it was really, really nice. It has like more of a silicone, light, airy feeling to it. So I really liked it under the eyes. Um, I definitely would repurchase this. So I really like that. Okay. I don't know. I feel really bad saying this because I do love a lot of Cebu products, but I used 
up this Cebu eye cream and initially I really liked it because it was a light eye cream. It was nice. It wasn't too heavy and sometimes like you know I get those little milia, those little white dots and white little cysts under the skin and sometimes they say that it comes from um, different too rich of eye creams. So anyways I used this and I had been using it and I, I think I saved a little bit but like do you see this? It's like water dripping down my hand chunky okay yeah. this is like what happened to this eye cream it like doesn't rub out and it got like a smell that smells like play-doh I don't know if it just like went bad or what but really 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 not happy with this um I'm just like would never ever repurchase the Cebu eye cream ever. I thought I really liked it because it was super light but I just had you know major problems and I don't know if I just got a bad one or if it just like separates like that but I don't know I never noticed that when I started using it. It didn't have that problem like it just like went bad started to smell bad and then whatever and I had only had it like six or seven months at the time so Okay, know. the last thing is this Wet n Wild Gel Liner. Uh, I don't know if you can see because it's like black stain, but it, start, it started to dry up like around the edges, and then I just had like a few little uses out of it. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's like a dollar something, really cheap. Um, I prefer the L'Oreal, so I probably won't buy this ever again because I do have L'Oreal and Maybelline ones that I prefer more um, that are still drugstore prices, so I probably won't repurchase. But if you're if you are looking for a very black gel liner. I I do recommend the Maybelline one, but you just really have to keep... The packaging is just really poor quality that you're just going to expect to go through more, where if you put a few more dollars in, you probably will have the um, liner longer. Okay, I used up the Michael Kors little perfume sample. I'm trying to go through and use up some perfume samples from, you know, like all my Sephora orders and stuff. Um, I used up this nail polish and strawberry margarita from OPI. I know it doesn't look like I used it up, but that's just because it's like coating the bottle, but the sucker is like pretty much gone. I love this color for the summer and I definitely would repurchase it. This thing that I used up and I had a couple of samples of this is the Rodan and Fields. I'm testing out some of their products right now. Microdermabrasion paste. Um, this I tried to save just a little bit so you can see. It's like a it's like a gel type paste with little tiny grits in it. Little tiny. So it's like a gel like paste that has like little tiny granules in it. Um, smells really really pleasant, and I really liked the way that this worked on the skin. Um, it just says, for a brighter, refined complexion, polish your skin with high glide, sugar and salt scrub featuring vitamins C and E. I am going to be doing a giveaway with this microdermabrasion and also just to talk a little bit about the products. I've been using them as like my main morning and night routine products um, for about a month now and I absolutely love it. Um, like even just the smell of it is just so pleasant like the thing that I would describe the Rodan and Fields line is is um like dessert for your face it just feels so good it's just like such a nice routine but anyways I've, I really enjoyed this microdermabrasion stuff I got probably two to three uses out of each little packet and I had two packets so really really like it and then the last thing I used up, you guys said I could include candles. Oh, I think I had another one. Shoot, I forgot it in the other. Okay, this one is from uh, Tyler Candle Company, and this is sour cream, sour cream coffee cake. And I really, really like the scent. It's a very nice fall scent, so I really liked it. And I think I used up a... Um, a couple of Bath and Body Works candles, but I don't know where they are. So I I use a Bath and Body Works candles all the time because I feel like those burn faster than the others. So, anyways, that is my empties. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and thank you for stopping by and talking trash with me. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Mwah.